Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Terry Hunter. I'm an intuitive astrologer and I'm here today to talk about the new moon in Leo that's happening on August 4th, 2024 at 413 a.m. And that's based on the Los Angeles Pacific time zone. Uh, this new moon is really an um, very, I want to say this, you know, we're going through such transformational times that the stars are giving us powerful dynamics to help us move through these times. And I believe that this Leo new moon here at 12 degrees is giving us an opportunity to plant the seeds within our own hearts, to have the courage to pursue our dreams, to pursue our talents, to pursue our skills, and to start to carve out a life that is more authentic to our individual expression. We've been going through a series of transits that are both it, we see the planets doing some interesting retrogrades. Mars, two years ago, the end of 2022, early 2023, spent seven months in Gemini. And here it is again in Gemini, now supporting this new moon. Let me click on that as it approaches Jupiter. Now, this is still a, a polarizing conjunction because those that are standing uh, sort of on the earth like it's flat will feel a lot of passion and potential aggression during this time, feeling as if uh, their liberties are being uh, taken away. But at the same time, those standing in awareness are going to feel the supporting aspects of the trine to the north node, which is giving us this opportunity to stretch ourselves, to be brave within our individuality, to be uh, pioneering in our thoughts, to see a broader picture of what's going on at this time. The Pisces energy, while it's extremely creative, is also a point that is very kind of personal. It's where the soul experiences its karmic connections and its karmic habits and patterns. It's where it leaves the physical and goes back into the collective. It is a historic energy, uh, meaning the soul's history. And now we're having, and I know that at this time, the the they're, it's making a sextile, I would believe too. Oops. Um, let me go on the moon for a minute. Let me click on the moon. No, that's not what's working for me. Okay, sorry, I messed up here. Okay, I thought I was going to get to pull the south node in as well, but we're not seeing that show up on this. So we've got this sextile here to Jupiter, allowing me to start to connect with my faith, with my bigger picture of myself, to allow myself to travel into places that I have not thought about before. And I want to offer this because the aspect from this new moon to Jupiter, while it is favorable in its sextile, Jupiter is still having the, the learning experience of going into the details of things, being able to map it out in a very humanistic way, to learn to be curious about uh, the mind and how the mind works and how on, on many levels it's an, uh, its own operating system that the human infuses consciousness into it rather than it being conscious on its own, because I don't believe it is. Now, while this moon is taking place, we also have a yod, a transit yod, which is making extremely strong aspects. It did it first to Mercury as Mercury uh, went into Virgo, but now the focus on the time of the new moon is on Venus. Venus using her voice, Venus using her talents and her skills, Venus trusting her ability to make her own bounty. And yet she doesn't feel comfortable about that at all. She's also during this new moon at the degree of the fixed star Regulus. And I believe this is in many ways her not being able to see the royal divinity within her, her ability to manifest the things that make her feel harmonious and and peaceful and balanced we have a quincunx here to to pluto pluto is saying you know basically pluto is like what's the underbelly of your psychological makeup like where are your fears where are do you give up your power because somebody else seems more capable 
And, and while Venus doesn't really feel this, obviously it's sitting underneath creating this blind spot for her. And there's her best friend over here at 29 degrees retrograde saying, do you remember when we hung out over here in Pisces and we talked about how God and the angels watch over us. And when we focus on that, when we trust that, when we create that as a team with our heavenly hosts, with the part of ourself that lives outside of this physical apparatus, we can make magic happen. Now, while this is a quincunx is, is challenging, the apex of this yod is at 29 degrees, which reduces down to an eleven. Obviously, the 29 in Neptune reduces down to an 11, but it's also 38 minutes, which reduces down to an 11. That gives me three 11s during this new moon that is at 12 degrees, offering me new thoughts about my spirituality, about my connection to a bigger picture, to look at my challenges in a way that supports the new seeds that I'm planting because I have more awareness. I have more experience. I have more um, sense of myself and my direction. So this new moon is very, very um, strong for planting the seeds to move forward in a way that allows for the discernment that we want to experience and allows for the uh, ability to understand the co-creation. And sometimes when things don't move as quickly as we would like them to, it's actually benefiting us. It's actually creating something that is more sustainable, more um, long and enduring. Here, the south node is in a sextile here to the new moon. I don't know why it didn't come up in the in the aspects there. But so we have this beautiful trine to the North node and the sextile to the South node for me is really planting the seeds for that sense of harmony and peace that Venus is looking for. So this is really, um, it's going to be an interesting moon because later in the day, Venus will move into Virgo and uh, Mercury will move retrograde. All of this happens on the same day. Uh, I would um, ask you to check out your monthly horoscopes where I go into uh, similar but more detail on the subject because it's these are just very pivotal times we're in right now and this new moon is going to expose or plant the seeds for, for new leaderships and leaderships that come from a place that, that trusts the heart. All right, everybody, that's it for this new moon. I will be back with the full moon in Aquarius later in the month. Again, my name is Terry Hunter. I'm an intuitive astrologer. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my information is below in the description. And please like, please subscribe, please share, and have a beautiful August and a wonderful new moon, planting the seeds from your heart and having the courage to tend to them and focus on them. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.